morning everyone and welcome back to my channel hope everybody's okay you've survived the horrible um weather that we've been having in the uk it's been very blustery now i've got here some lovely happy mail i know who it's from i can't show you the packet because it has both of our addresses on it so in order to keep it that way i'm going to wow I'm going to take it straight out of the packet. Look at this. I'm trying not to look at it, but you know what it's like when your eyes are like roving all over something. Now this, you'd think, was supposed to be an ATC swap with um, Little Snippets 1, Geraldine. Wow. Oh, how exciting. Oh my goodness, just so exciting. Oh, these are fab. Absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Look at it all. Oh my goodness, where do we start? Where do we start? Start with these, because these look amazing. Now this is a, must be a very, very deep um, embossing folder. And this looks like, looks like distress ink maybe. It's got that kind of chalky feel to it. I love that. I have to say, one of my... Um, you know how much I like postage stamps and things like that. There are a few things I have mini obsessions for. I'm not going to tell you um, a lot of them because I think I'm even more weird than I am. But one of them is typewriter font. I absolutely adore anything that's got a typewriter font. I just, I don't know, maybe it's because when my, my mum used to be a typist, I think. When I was little, I used to have a big... Um, I wish I'd still got it, but one of those big old-fashioned um, typewriters with round buttons that you have to push really hard down and a ribbon. And I absolutely loved that. I loved playing with it. And um, oh, if only I'd known, I could have glimpsed into the future. I could have hung on to it. But I have a bit of an obsession with anything typewriter font, so that's beautiful. Thank God. I just love how deep, deeply embossed that is. I think those are, that's the swap in there. Right, in here... Let's get in here. These beautiful things Geraldine makes. I think she must have a special um, sewing machine or embroidery machine. But they're absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how. I literally don't know how people make these. I, I, I am clueless as to as to what you do. I mean, they're just so pretty. Um, I just they're, they're just gorgeous. There's, I mean, do they take ages to make? How long does it take to make something like this? Um, I mean, they sit like these. They like the the, the cotton is um, two tone, but I'm guessing that could come on on the um, on you know on one reel, like you get knitting yarn that's you know very the the, the tones vary on it. So I'm guessing that. But I have just no idea how you make something like this, but they're just gorgeous. absolutely beautiful I love them and a butterfly I've got lots of butterflies because um, Geraldine did make me some butterflies and I have used them um, in some projects but I do get um, I'm a bit of a hoarder I don't like to, to like to part with things but these are beautiful really really beautiful thank you ever so much Geraldine they're lovely and what have we got here the magic of nature breathes upon me her blossoms are a part of the spell that's a beautiful, beautiful card there. Look, it's like a fairy door here with a little doorknob. Another one of those like mini jelly top things. And some beautiful fairies. Pretty, pretty. And some glitter card there. That is very pretty. All right. She says, I hope you have an old computer slash laptop techno thing to try out the CD-ROM. So for today, there's no delay in posting. There's never any. Oh, let's have a look. So ATC Assistant, it says. Well, that sounds fun, doesn't it? Look at all these images on here. I definitely have. I don't have an old one. I have a fairly new one. But yes, I do have a computer that I can use and it does have a CD-ROM drive which is unusual but I, I, I specifically requested one when I bought it 
Oh, I'm definitely going to give that a whirl. Thank you. Wow, how exciting. She did, I think you did leave me an email with something like that, with a cryptic thing about having an old computer. And I was like, oh, I've no idea what I've got. I thought you were going to get me to build up something, you know, like, um, I don't know. I've no idea. I was terrified. And here, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous set of pockets here. Just look at the beautiful flowers. They are just something else. Beautiful, beautiful depth in those. They are really, really pretty and lovely little fold, little pockets to put them in. So getting all these ideas now, that's a good way of um, gifting out the um, ATC. So I'm going to pull them all out and then we'll have a little look at them. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. Just put that down for a second. Oh, I think there's one behind it. Yep. Yeah. We'll just have another look at that little pocket set of pockets isn't that beautiful yes i'm just seeing how you've done that beautiful love it very much i love the background paper love your beautiful flowers just gorgeous right we've got here an atc called purple hummingbird number two of two made in january and it's made with lace fabric and paper look at that it's just beautiful oh i love that i mean literally that is a piece of art don't need anything more see i worry about using things that i just i think oh, maybe i'll go overboard maybe i need to like step back a bit and just not go quite so mad put a nice background on put an image on and walk away don't try and add anything else it doesn't need it what makes it special i think is the border as well and i don't tend to put a border on mine but I think that could, I think I might have a go at some of those. It looks really neat and really, I don't know, I just really like it. It appeals to me. Thank you. And then we've got, <laughs> it says on the back, I'll be watching you. And then in brackets on YouTube, <laughs> February 22. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Geraldine. That's funny. Oh, it's lovely. It's got a nice green eye, just like mine. Well, slightly more green and sparkly than mine. But that's beautiful. There's some, I think there's some glitter with stars in here. And I don't know what that is. There's a, an actual, ah, oh, I'm guessing that is a bit of a die cut there. Maybe there's a, there's a, I never thought to do that as well, you see. Or a punch. I've got a punch that you can punch out something similar. But it crossed my mind to use the, the the remaining bit of the die the die cut. Uh -huh, see, so that's what it's like when you swap things. You get different, just different ideas. I don't I don't know if that's heat embossed. It might be. It's very hard to tell. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Right next, we have got stitched up butterflies. So this is, well, it looks like definitely fabric here. That's the fab fabric with some butterfly on it there. There is a piece of what looks like, it could be, it looks like a hessian underneath and then some like black lace on top of it. And another little lacy trim here with little sort of flowers on. And then this butterfly, I think, has been fussy cut from the same kind of fabric put on the outside and it's all been stitched everywhere it's been stitched with like fancy zigzaggy stitching brilliant love it now a fabric is something I don't what I don't do I'm scared of doing I don't I've got a new sewing machine I can use it just about but I don't use it enough and I don't know I just and it's just fancy stitches I'm just a bit nervous of using it I don't know and I don't really I don't really know what to do with fabric but Maybe I should, you know, force myself to to have another go. That is gorgeous. Now that must be one of your embroidered flowers. That is definitely not. Um, that's definitely like um, yarn, not yarn. What am I talking about? Cotton thread that is um, separate colours. It's not graduated in any way because we've got this really distinct green leaves pink petals and two types of yellow in the center how gorgeous is that 
And it's got another one of these little borders. So I'm going to I'm going to investigate to see if I could do that. And then um, I like I love the background. It's just so so pretty. Just a rose, it says. That's beautiful. I love them, I really do. And we have got here. Oh, look at this glittery mushroom. I wonder what it's called. Mushroom magic. Mushroom magic one. It's called. That's beautiful. And now the paper has got the paper. I don't know if it's a jelly print or something, but it looks like it's it's got a mushroom in the background. Maybe it's got a stamp. I don't know. It's hard to tell. And then it's got mushrooms on the outside on the top. Those are embossed and that's got glitter on it as well with some glittery spores or whatever they are. Beautiful. Really pretty. Mushroom magic. So those are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you ever so much. I mean, and I did just stick two ATCs in a card in an envelope, a postcard, I think, and sent that. So I feel like I've let you down, Geraldine, there. But absolutely beautiful. All of Geraldine's work is absolutely amazing. As you can see, I forgot to show you the back of the card as well. That was the front. But oops, but that was the back of the card. And then we're all of these, oh, I'm falling in love with that. Um, with that, oh, I really love that. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna have to investigate this and see what we can do with this. It sounds very intriguing. So thank you very, very much. You're very kind. And uh, if you don't know Geraldine, Little Snippets 1, please go across to her channel. She's also on Instagram and I will leave both the, her channel and her Instagram names in my description box down below. So just click on those, please, and go and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and in the meantime, stay safe, keep indoors so the weather's pretty grim. And um, I will be back again soon. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.